Hey everyone, I'm back. Uh, I know it's been a while. Uh, got a little uh, sidetracked with the Easter holiday and some family stuff going on, but I'm back now. And I've got a lot of great snacks to, uh, to try out for you. Uh, I'm going to do something a little unusual here this time. Uh, these are going to be my first, uh, I have three different ice creams. I'm going to try them. These are my first frozen treat uh, reviews. Uh, this first one is going to be really interesting. It's actually a major brand. It's, uh, it's Haagen-Dazs. You can see that in this new line of uh, uh, spirits. Uh, and ice cream uh, that they've come out with. There's several different varieties. Uh, this one is especially interesting for me to try because I don't drink at all, not at all. I'm uh, not really a big fan of, uh, of uh, alcohol on its own. Uh, in foods, you know, it's not too bad. I sometimes cook with wine or, you know, a little beer, whatever the recipe calls for. Uh, but I don't drink. Uh, this is, of course, you know, ice cream. So uh, this might be, you know, a little better for me. I suppose if I were gonna drink, I'd probably drink something like bourbon, which is why I chose this flavor. It's uh, bourbon praline pecan, uh, and it has, um, I believe it's, uh, yeah, 0.5% alcohol by volume, so not a whole lot of booze in here. But anyway, we're gonna try it, and uh, then I've got two other flavors I'm gonna try for you also. Things are starting to warm up. It's springtime. Uh, we're getting a little uh, warmer out here. I was gonna do this video outside, but it was actually really windy here today. And uh, things got away from me, it got really dark outside, so I'm doing it here in the house. Let's go ahead and get that open. Right away I can smell the bourbon inside of this. <clears throat> That's what it looks like. You can see there's some glare right here. Anyway, it's uh, praline pecan, it's vanilla ice cream with praline pecan pieces and bourbon. So I'm going to go ahead and try that out. This is haagen -Dazs. You can find this line at Safeway. That's where I got this from. And like I said, they have several others. Uh, there's a, uh, I don't drink, so this is the only one that really appealed to me. This is the only one I actually bought. I'm going to go ahead and dig right in here, and I'm going to try it out. Definitely smell the alcohol. And that is actually really good. Like I said, you know, alcohols. I, I don't drink, uh, so alcohol on its own is, is not really appealing to me, but... You know, in foods, it's actually pretty good. And it goes really well with pecan and praline and the vanilla ice cream. Nice and creamy. You definitely taste a little bit of the alcohol. It's got that, you know, uh, alcoholic sort of sort of burn, despite being only 0.5% by volume. So there's really not a whole lot here. I don't think uh, even somebody like me who doesn't drink could get drunk off of eating this whole thing, which obviously I'm not going to do. I'm not that crazy. Uh, but uh, yeah, it tastes really good. Pecan praline, uh, you know, the, there's the, the caramel and the brown sugar notes in this. I haven't found any pecans yet. Very good quality, nice upscale. You've had haagen -Dazs before, you know what to expect here. This is a premium ice cream. Uh, I got this on sale, so I actually got a really good deal on it. Um, but yeah, you know. Not a big fan of, of uh, drinking alcohol or the effects of drinking alcohol. Uh, I've never been drunk, honestly. Uh, but, you know, I could imagine eating this. This is actually really delicious. I probably, I'm going to kill this whole thing, not today, uh, but I will eventually eat all of it and, uh, you know, really good. If you're into bourbon, uh, you know, this is probably the one for you. I'm probably going to have to throw up a picture of uh, the other flavors they have in this line. There are quite a few of them. I want to say at least four or five. Mm -hmm. Really good ice cream. It does have chunks of pecans in there. Uh, yeah. So yeah, Haagen-Dazs, uh, bourbon, praline, pecan, spirits, flavored ice cream. Good stuff. Go and get you some at Safeway. I'm going to do a palate cleanser. I'm going to get right back with the second flavor. i got a couple of really unusual ones here. Okay, I'm back. Flavor number two. Uh, this is a uh, uh, kind of an up-and-coming company. You can find this at Safeway also. Uh, I've seen them um, show up at a lot of uh, like boutique shops. Uh, a lot of sandwich shops actually carry this kind of thing. They do a lot of... Their, I think they're especially known for their um, uh, ice cream sandwiches made with cookies. And they have some pretty unusual flavors. Uh, I found this one at the grocery outlet bargain market. This is a Cool House brand, and uh, like I said, they're a pretty smaller, uh, pretty much a smaller company. Uh, cool House, awesome ice cream, and this is milkshake and fries flavor. So uh, it says here, it says Tahitian vanilla bean ice cream, shoestring French fries, milk chocolate malt balls. 
so it's got everything you need right in there. You know, if you uh, uh, if you're a fan of Wendy's Frosties, chances are you're the type of person who dips their fries in those Frosties, and that's actually really good. That's I, I really recommend that if you haven't tried it, check it out. The fries and the uh, and the uh, chocolate uh, frosty go really well together. Seems like the you know similar kind of concept with this. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it up and try it out. See what that tastes like. It says right here on the label, goat, greatest of all time. I don't know about that, but we're gonna find out. I have tried their ice cream uh, sandwiches and they're really good. This is the first time I've ever tried it uh, in this, you know, just straight ice cream by the pint. <clears throat> That's what it looks like. So vanilla ice cream, Tahitian vanilla. Uh, I don't see, I do see french fries. There's a little french fry right there. I'm guessing this is more like a uh, potato chip. If you've ever seen the, uh, the crispy little shoestring uh, potato chips, uh, they, they call them fries. Uh, they look like french fries, but really small. That's probably what's in here. And you can see some of the malted milk balls in there also. I'll go ahead and check this out. Not a whole lot of scent. Um, but let's see if I can get some chocolate and french fry in there. Bottoms up. It's another confession I have to make. My teeth are super sensitive to cold, so I love ice cream. But if this stuff touches my teeth, I'm going to be in pain. Um, anyway, that's really good. Um, the flavor of the uh, the French fries, the shoestring French fries, actually kind of carries through the entire thing. So I actually get a little bit of that with the vanilla. Malted milk balls definitely taste very strongly of malt and chocolate. Mm. I don't think these are Whoppers in here. They they're a little gummy. They're not crispy like uh, like you would with Whoppers. Anytime. Uh, you put a, a moisture and malt together, the malt kind of, you know, it, it turns into this gummy kind of paste. Mm. That's really good. Actually, I don't know if I like this more than the, uh, excuse me, don't talk with your mouth full. I'm going to do it anyway, I'm filming a video soon. Anyway, the, uh, the Haagen-Dazs, the uh, Spirits ice cream. I don't know if it's better than that, but it's definitely really good. I kind of wish Jordan were here with me right now. He's not. Uh, he's off visiting family. Uh, but he'd probably love something like this. I'm going to have to let him try some. Maybe I'll get uh, some footage of him checking it out. You can see what he thinks. Gabe wouldn't go anywhere near this stuff, so... Couldn't convince him for the world. Even though he loves french fries and chocolate and ice cream. Uh, anyway, they're the world's pickiest kids. Jordan will actually try it. Gabe will not. I'm betting Jordan will love this. Really good stuff. So yeah, they carry this brand at Safeway. I got it at a grocery outlet, Bargain Market. Got a really good price on it. It's a dollar ninety-nine. Um, good stuff. Check it out. Palate cleanser. I'll be right back with flavor number three. This one's another unusual one. Okay, here we are, flavor number three. This is a new one I haven't heard of before. Uh, I'm not familiar with this company, but it's called, uh, it's Hot Scream, the Spicy Ice Cream. And this is uh, Espresso Swirl. And I'm guessing what it is, is it's probably a coffee flavored ice cream uh, with some uh, cayenne pepper inside. So it's got a little bit of a kick. If you know me, you've been following my videos, you know I love spicy foods. Uh, I especially love, uh, uh, you know, spice with uh, chocolate. So I'm hoping there's a little chocolate in here uh, with coffee. You know, I don't know that I've ever really had coffee with spice in it, but we're going to try it out. We're going to figure out how that goes. Espresso Swirl. Uh, Hot Scream appears to be the name of the company. Again, this was another one that I got at uh, Grocery Outlet Bargain Market. Grocery Outlet Bargain Market. Uh, anyway, you may be able to catch them there. This is the only flavor that I saw in this particular variety. Uh, and that's what it looks like. It's a vanilla ice cream. Ooh, I licked my finger and I definitely got a little bit of that spice, so this is gonna be good. Uh, and you can see the uh, espresso swirl there. It smells mostly of vanilla, maybe a little bit of coffee. I'm gonna dig right in here. It's a spoon there. I feel like I should have some kind of, uh, some kind of uh, you know, catchphrase when I eat something. 
you watch Emmy Maid, she's I'm a big fan of Emmy Maid. Uh, she's got her catchphrase, uh, Crazy Russian Hacker, he's another one. Anyway, shout out to those guys. Uh, but we're going to try this and I'm going to tell you how it is. Very good. That's definitely got a nice uh, spicy sting to it uh, right off the back end. It's more in the espresso than it is in the vanilla. <clears throat> I don't know if there's any in the vanilla. But yeah, I just got some of that really delicious uh, espresso flavored syrup. And it's definitely got a lot of spice there. Very unusual. Uh, but they complement, the flavors complement each other really well. Mm. Yeah, it's got a nice kick to it. I really like that. It's not as uh, smooth and creamy, the vanilla, as uh, like the haagen or the Cool House brand, but it's still really good ice cream. It's definitely high quality. <clears throat> this is another one I got on sale. Got a really good deal on this too, and I just couldn't pass it up. It's a little too unusual, so you know, if you know me, I gotta try the new flavors. I'm always looking to try something else <clears throat> that I haven't had before, and this is definitely it. The thing about this is that you know the spice is in the uh, the espresso syrup, and there's definitely a lot of it, and it's very strong. But you also have the vanilla milk, uh, the vanilla ice cream, which has a lot of uh, butter fat in it, which tends to kill the the, uh, the capsaicin in the uh, in the spice. So you know you get that nice spicy burn, and then once you let it sit on your tongue for a while, the the uh, ice cream melts and and it kind of goes away. But you know it's definitely very interesting, a lot of fun, very delicious. I recommend that one too. I'm gonna go online later and I'm gonna look to see if this company has any more flavors and I'm gonna try to track those down and try them also. Anyway, uh, you know, if you're looking for something new as far as ice cream goes, <clears throat> I got these three flavors here. All three of them are fantastic. I highly recommend them. Go and seek them out. Uh, and uh, I think you should be pleased. You know, if you have tastes like mine, you wanna try something a little different, these are definitely the way to go. All right. So I hope you enjoyed watching and, uh, you know, feel free to leave me some comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.